now from the Caribbean. If you put their ages together, they would total over 300, uh, but they're now reaching out to new and younger audiences. They're called the Jolly Boys. They've got the backing of Amy Winehouse, and Lucy McDonald went to meet them. They tried to get me go to rehab, but I said no. With a combined age of 382, the Jolly Boys make the Rolling Stones look, well, like Jedward. Although success may have come late, the Jamaican Mento Band are making up for lost time. They recently signed to Grace Jones and the Human League's record label and have just covered an Amy Winehouse track. He's enjoying it. I am enjoying it. And I know he's enjoying it. Jamaica is most famous for its reggae, its dancehall, its ska, but Mento is the island's traditional folk music. Its origins are in Africa, but there's lots of European influences there too, from the time when slaves had to entertain their masters. Its heyday was the 1950s, when actor Errol Flynn partied hard to the band's tunes, with the likes of Elizabeth Taylor. And they would uh, drink champagne, wine and gin, and what a rum punch. And I would be singing, you know, take me to Jamaica where the rum come from. But when Jamaican music became politicised in the 60s by reggae artists like Bob Marley, the Jolly Boys became seen as old-fashioned. Not anymore if this video's anything to go by. I noticed in uh, your videos lots of very scantily clad ladies. Yeah, well, you know, that's, that's the way it goes, you know, we, we're still active, you know. <laughs> Do you want to elaborate on that? <laughs> they met Amy Winehouse in Jamaica and she gave them the thumbs up for their version of Rehab. And I think she loved it too, you know, she, uh, the, way, the way we do it, you know, um, a little island like Jamaica down there, take a song like that, you know, and turn it around, you know. Lucy McDonald, Sky News.